Chapter 14, looking at consumer health or getting quality traditional and non-traditional health. Again, we're breaking this up into two parts. This is part one of the chapter. Even if you do your best to stay healthy at the time, you're going to need help at some point. Will you choose traditional medicine or non-traditional? How do you find a good doctor? How do you know what advice is good? I have listed a few trustworthy sites here in the course for you, but you still need to be careful. You always need to pay attention to where the information is coming from. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. When choosing your practitioner, take your own needs into consideration. Some may want a male doctor or a female, others look for a speciality. Some just guess and try someone. However you choose, you need to ask yourself if you're getting the most from your doctor. I have a lot of women in my human sexuality course who come to me with, I was the gyno last week and I have a question. Now I am more than happy to answer any questions and help anyone with any questions if I can, but I can't help but wonder why you don't just ask the professional they're paying for those answers. Besides, with doctor's salaries, make sure you get your money worth. Now that what they're checking for and what they need to know. They are smart people, but they're not psychic. You need to give them the information they need to help you out. Too much is better than not enough. And don't be afraid to say you don't know. What is worse, admitting you don't know something to a person you see a few times a year or dying? I would rather look the fool. I personally know a great deal about medicine, but when my son was sick and my pediatrician asked me on the phone if he sounded like a seal barking, I had to admit, I don't listen to seals bark too often. So I put the baby on the phone and had him cough. Sure enough, seal barking, I was told, sounded like a kid coughing to me. My pediatrician then told me I did the right thing by putting him on the phone. I told him he could have asked me to, and it would have been easier for us all. We agreed and we learned something that day. Always remember, while your doctor knows more about medicine than you likely do, you know more about your own body than she or he ever will. However, your doctor cannot help you at all if you don't tell them what is wrong and tell them the truth. We do not go to the physician to be judged for what we do. We go to be healed. A good physician will not judge you for what you're doing. They will thank you for your honesty. And look at the different things you're hearing out there. If it sounds to be too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Take a look at what those messages say. I see one all the time that says, as seen on Dr. Oz. Realize as long as it was mentioned on the show, they can say that. It does not mean Dr. Oz said it was a good idea. And let's be serious. If you can get a miracle cure while also filling your tank with gas and buying a pack of gum, this is not FDA approved method of guaranteeing the best sex of your life. Take the time to see the truth in medicine.